Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Baby's Nightmare Circus Classic Mode. In today's episode, I'm gonna do Night 5 and if you commented in the last episode saying how to get that secret ending, I will do it in the next one because I am pre-recording this. So yeah, continue to Night 5 and let's see what's about. This should be the last night. Unless it's like the usual fluff. Hello again buddy. Hello. Remember when I said this little game of, your, of ours, not yours, would lead you to the exit? It won't. Let me guess. Breaking news, there is no exit. Exactly. I knew it from the start. You are stuck here with me. Haha. <laughs> Alright, stop laughing. Press B to punch Biddy. Gladly. Ouch, what? Keep punching. <laughs> Puke. I like that last night. Hello. Is that your skeleton? You're really creepy. So it didn't like that. I liked it though. Oh no. If you hear Biddy, find him and shine your light. Shine your light at him to make him go away. You need to be quick. At least give me some time. I just realized there's a device I can use, but I heard him to, right, to my right. Hold to drain Biddy's power. Okay, so it's nothing to do with the noise because it did not hear him on my left. So I just have to look around, do this, look around, do this. Oh, I see him. Do I? No, I do not see him. I thought it was this thing on the top, like some kind of weird vent, but it wasn't. So it's on my left. What? I don't get this. What did the instruction say? If you hear Biddy, find him and shine your light at him. I was trying to find him, but he wasn't there. To make him go away, you need to be quick. Excuse me? I don't think this works. So I need to find him, find him, find him. Where is he? You cannot see him. I am very confused. If you hear Biddy, find him and flash your light. I'll shine your light, so I don't have to even do anything. You cannot see him. He just kills you immediately. Maybe I should just drain his power right from the start. That does not work. Maybe drain his power and then I can see where he is. So do this. Once I hear him, I need to look. So look. He's on my right. Cannot see him. Is this impossible? Am I getting tricked? So yeah, this top part isn't anything. There's a door there. There's nothing I can do with it. Is, is this actually impossible? Okay, I searched it online. It was that simple. 
I did not see how to beat it. Oh, well, I know is that I need to go out the door. Because I thought it was weird. I don't know how fast I need to be as well. Because this might be too slow. It seems like it's fine. Sound effects are coming in. That's distracting. At least the, his voice lines are monotone on one side. Not monotone, but mono sound. That's extremely slow. Okay, I managed to do it either way. He is opening this door faster. Is it this simple? Oh, that's too slow. I managed to do it. It wouldn't click. That's annoying. Okay, it's not that fast. Just need to be there. Oh, come on, I was nearly there. That's it. He mad. And he dead. Oh, I'm waking up. So there was an exit. It was him. Good morning. Yep, this is my room. I woke up. The end of a nightmare. I got an old book. Thank you. So in the end, the person actually managed to escape. He wasn't stuck in his mind all the time. Always living nightmares. The only thing is, there's more collectibles to get. And I wonder, if I go inside, you know, a different night and I keep on dying, I get a new object. So I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna continue to night 5, and then keep on dying over and over and again. But I don't know if night 5 actually does something, unless I need to beat him again. So yeah, I'm gonna try and beat him again, and then uh, let's see if he gives me a different item. If he does, I'm just going to continue beating him into I get all the items. Unless there's like secret ones which I need, like, you know, like the other two from the main game. Alright, managed to do it again. Let's see if he gives me another item. Alright, he's down. Give me another item. Alright, I'm waking up. No. So it doesn't give me a different item. So perhaps I need to restart the game, I need to go through the nights again and then fail? Unless this something... Okay, there is something I can do with it. The withers. Okay. Cannot do anything. Fixed Ballora. Nightmare Lobit. Nightmare Biddy. And this makes a sound. Mr. Afton. Okay, there we go. This is a secret night, I think. Close the doors when he is in the hallways, are gonna die. Stare at him if he is... What? Stare at him if he is in the vent. It's not that hard to say. He was in the vent, I think. And I was in the front. Keep on hitting my microphone. So I need to close the vents and then shine the light if he's at the door. I need to check, uh, close the doors. Okay, close them. Stare at him if he's in the vents. Okay, he's in the closet. So I think I'm fine. 
Well, that's nice different ones. So once he comes out, I need to close that door. If he does come out. And I don't know if the tablet runs down battery. It's gone. Okay, he's just up the hallway. I don't know if he needs to get closer. He moved. It's not in the vent. Is he up the door? No, he's back in the closet. He really likes those cleaning things. Finn knows how clean. Oh, that's the shelves. Okay. A lot of batteries being wasted in here. Okay, it's in the main hallway. Oh, he's gone. I have no idea where he went. He must have came round on the left. Yeah, I think so. He doesn't do any sound cues. Actually, I'm gonna listen out for sound cues, just in case. It's in the closet. I'm actually gonna wait inside the cameras. If I do get jump scared, I get jump scared. Just to know what I have to look for. Okay. So he doesn't have to go near the door. So then I need to close it. So I was doing right. Now I need to figure out what the sound cues are. If I do that, I don't have to use my tablet at all. Okay, so you can hear him move, but I don't know if it's always the same sound for left and right. So that then was like a low growl. I think it is directional. Okay, so the sounds are useless. He moves even without sound. So I just have to keep looking at the camera. That's all I have to do. But I need to check if the camera does drain battery. That's the thing I do not know. So it's 99, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 seconds. I bet he's in there. Yes, he is. So it's 8 seconds for that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. That's a problem. I, I, I'm actually gonna die here. The battery went down like crazy, about 2%. So the camera does affect everything. So how are you supposed to know where he is if he keeps on moving really quickly? This is some kind of like hardcore mode. The door was closed, and he was on the right. Okay, I went to 0% there. 0% insta-death. Got it. So I managed to get to 5am, which was pretty good. It happens where I press the button, but I won't close the door. That's really annoying. But at least I was doing kind of good. I mean, I got to 3M about 44%, 45. Which is not great. But it's progress. And he also loves the vent. And that's the worst part because I need to hold down the camera on him.
Okay, it was extremely simple in the end. I just needed to continue checking the camera, seeing where he is. Congrats, you got Golden Afton Head. Thank you. So it wasn't even hard at the end. So the thing was that the sound he makes doesn't mean anything. It does not mean anything. So the tactic for that, I think it was click around every about three to five seconds, like do the triangle. Obviously you don't have to check the rest of the runes because they're yeah, useless. And then once you see him at one of the doors, close it and then check every second. So then once he disappears, you open that door immediately so then you don't waste any power. And then you immediately after opening that door, check on the left side or the opposite side of where he was before and then the vents and if he's not there just keep doing that same tactic and then that's it it worked i was doing perfectly fine so i started closing both of my doors as well because i was about i think it was 40 percent at 5 a.m something like that and you saw once i closed both of the doors it went back down to 20 percent so don't close both of the doors don't do what i did at the end but yeah it worked so now i managed to get a golden afton hand on this what does it say now? There he is. Mr. Afton. And um, that is it. Cannot do anything with a head. How about the television? Okay, that just makes static. Maybe there's a combination I need to put in. Okay. No, there's, there's no combination. It's all the television that makes that sound. So there's nothing to do there. How about these ones? Nope. Nothing to do that. These ones just do the pauses. Nothing else. How about the coins? Nope, nothing to do with the coins. Now I got left these three things and I actually have no idea how to get those. It will probably be something to do with the main nights. I need to click on something or something like that. But I'm gonna leave this episode here and in the next one I'm gonna follow a guy that I'm trying to do all the rest of the prize corners. Because the third ending of the main game still doesn't work, I don't know why. I try to do everything, I even try looking, like I said before, at other people's guides just to see how they did it. And it was the same thing as I'm doing, just it doesn't work, even changing the keyboard layout to English. But yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye everyone.